One interesting finding in the study is on how fintechs are transforming their business models to put customer experiences in the front seat. So Bianca, what steps are fintechs um, taking? And secondly, what is reinforcing this evolution? Fintechs are actually taking multiple steps to integrate customer and employee experiences. Uh, they're really seeing the value around it now, and uh, they want to reinforce the benefits around it. 70% of those fintechs who participated in our study are actually moving to integrate customer and employee experiences, and that percentage will just continue to grow in the next uh, two years. Now, how are they doing it exactly for those who have you know, taken the lead? They do actions such as they unify the communication channels. Mm -hmm. So text, emails, phone calls, these are all integrated between customers and employees. So you know they're, they're making it happen. They connect employee and customer feedback. So it's comparing notes. Yes, exactly. Right, okay. uh, this is where the you know the use of data, right. using it intelligently and wisely, right. smartly. And now, yeah. Yes, uh, exactly. Providing employees with more CX autonomy. This is where you empower your team right. to you know really allow for them to solve for the problems. If uh, you know they're hired for that purpose anyway, that you did the upscaling for them, they should be able to have that autonomy to mm -hmm. you know help the customers and creating internal teams to integrate CX and EX. So this is where. Companies who have taken the lead are making investments and in making sure that they have the right resources to oversee the you know customer mm -hmm. experiences and you know having the, the right departments and resources for it, and uh, outsourcing some of the CX operations, uh, which uh, you know there's a lot of value around it. What uh, aspects of the business are they outsourcing? Um, right now, we are seeing AI development, uh, KYC verification, chat support, mm -hmm. tech support. You know more of the more complex work. Now, in the next two years, what's interesting is that these firms are planning to outsource more in all other CX areas. It's not limited to those four that I mentioned. Over one half of the fintechs mentioned that uh, they will outsource their chat support. Well, 50% said that they will outsource AI development and tech support. And mm -hmm. you want to put numbers around it. Uh, the outsourcing average um, previously was, or actually today, is uh, 104 but the, we're going to see that number grow to an average of 145 average FTE. So okay. that's how much outsourcing is really going. Is to. this in the next two years? Yeah, next two okay. years. This is how much uh, we're seeing the numbers, uh, you know, uh, growing. Right now, fintechs face talent gaps in important CX areas because, um, especially the beginners, they don't really have the resources right. to train, have their team go through skills development. So the more important skills for fintechs actually happen to be customer service, software development, tech support, and subject matter expertise. Unfortunately, they are all the areas where the biggest talent oh, gaps no. are. Okay. And uh, this is where uh, a company like TDCX would come in. Uh, in one of the other clients that uh, we've been working with for a number of years now, one of the solutions that we built for them being uh, or leading global operations is uh, an intuitive fraud detection system. So our solution that uh, you know we positioned to them was it actually something that spanned uh, you know beyond the wall four walls of our office because we're really able to provide a risk investigation system that looks at you know, telling behaviors of a fraud incident. Oh, okay. it, uh, there are a lot of indicators that, you know, we're really capturing. And uh, for this company, it's a lot of value and uh, it's a lot uh, important to them because we have just saved them, you know, from potential lawsuits. Which can cost millions. <laughs> millions, exactly. <laughs> Tainted reputation. Of course. And at the end of the day, losing the business of their very loyal Entirely. customers. Fintechs actually see the financial, strategic, and operational benefits from their CX investments. And this is something that CX uh, beginners in the business will have to take note of because there's a lot of example and uh, inspiration, so to speak, that we could take for, from the CX leaders. I think one key message that I want to highlight from what you, you just said is, you know, most of the beginners who are fearful of gearing towards the high-tech, high-touch policies because they want to save up on money, you know, um, instead of, you know, paying for mm -hmm. an additional team is outsourcing is a really one way to address that especially also for talent gaps exactly and and gaps in general mm -hmm. which are significant to the success of any fintech industry and business so thank you so much bianca for sharing all these insights i was i learned a lot and hopefully so did you thank you thank you alex thank you for having me